Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Pharmacy Tech Love. This is where you learn everything that you need to know about how to be a pharmacy technician. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pharmacy Tech Love. And if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you subscribe and definitely hit the bell to get notified of every episode or every YouTube video that I post. As you all know, at the beginning of all of my videos, I always have a question or ask a question of the day. So my question of the day is, if you could be a writer, what would you write about? For me, I would write a children's book. For some reason, I have, I just have this feeling that if I write a children's book, it's going to be very, very successful. And maybe later I'll tell you the name of the children's book that I would actually like to write. So today, we are going to be going over Clark's Rule. And if you have not seen the other two videos, I do have one over Young's Rule and over Fraud's Rule. So if you are an aspiring pharmacy technician, these are some of the formulas that you're going to need to know in order to pass your PTCB exam. And if you would like to become a pharmacy technician, I'll leave my webpage in the description and also I'll leave it in the comments as well. It's really not that difficult to become a certified pharmacy technician. This is a trade that you can pick up and have forever. I have partnered with a company called Pharmacy Tech Lessons and this is a great platform if you wanna become a certified pharmacy technician. If you, if you do your studies and study hard, you can become certified in 60 days. Onisha Biggs and her team will help you with everything. Everything is online, you'll have a coach, all of that is included. So if that's something that you're interested in, check the description, check the comments. I'm gonna leave it right there for you. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so what we're discussing today is Clark's Rule. And the formula for Clark's Rule is going to be the child's weight divided by 150 times the adult dose. Okay, now I need you to remember this formula, and this is Clark's Rule, okay? So that's exactly the formula that we have to use in order to get this child's dose according to Clark's Rule, and this is the formula. The child's weight divided by 150 times the adult dose. So let's work this problem out. It says a child weighing 60 pounds, so there's the child's weight, is prescribed lisinopril. The normal adult dose, and I'm just making these up, you guys. This is no formula or, or no set dose for an adult or anything like that. I'm just plugging numbers in. Okay. So, again, it says the child weighing 60 pounds is prescribed lisinopril. The normal adult dose is 75 milligrams. What is the appropriate dose for the child? So, we need to go in this problem, in this word problem, and pull out everything that we need here. So the child's weight is 60 pounds, because it does say a child weighing 60 pounds. So we are going to put 60 pounds, and you can write the pounds if you like, or you can just write 60, okay? Now, according to the formula, we are going to divide that by 150, and then we are going to multiply this divided fraction, okay? This, that's what, excuse me, this divided problem by the adult dose, and right now the adult dose is 75 milligrams. And you can put milligrams if you like, and if you don't want to, you don't have to, okay? It's entirely up to you. Okay, so again, the child is weighing 60 pounds. So the child's weight is 60 pounds. The 150, we got that from the, from the formula, so we're gonna divide that by 150. Times 75, and where, where did that 75 come from? That's the adult dose, and as it says in the problem, the normal adult dose is 75 milligrams. So I'm gonna put that in my calculator. I'm going to put 60 in my calculator for first, 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 because um, uh, 60 is our numerator, and then you're gonna divide that by your denominator. Remember how I told you that a lot of people always try to put the denominator in the calculator first? Please don't do that. I know a lot of people don't know that, so I'm teaching you now. Okay, so 60 divided by 150, and I do not want you to hit equal. I want you to go straight into your multiplication key or your times key. So times 75, and what does that give you? How many milligrams is this, is this child going to be receiving? 
in your calculator, if you um, if your answer equaled up to 30 milligrams, then you are absolutely correct. I'm gonna put it over here because I don't know if you can see the bottom down here. So the X is going to equal 30 milligrams and that is the child's dose, okay? So again, the child's weight is 60 pounds. We're taking the 150 from the formula, divided by 150. After you divide these two, you're gonna go straight into your multiplication key into your calculator and divide that by 75 milligrams and the child's dose is 30 milligrams, okay? So that's problem number one. Let's go to problem number two. Okay, still on Clark's rule, still using the same formula. So now we have a child weighing 75 pounds. 75 pounds is prescribed, um, zo a child weighing 75 pounds is prescribed Zovarax. The normal adult dose is 500 milligrams. What is the appropriate dose for the child? Same steps, you guys, same steps and same formula. So how much does the child weigh? 75 pounds, good, I'm just gonna write 75, okay? We're gonna divide that by 150 since that is going to be standard, that is going to be permanent when you are uh, working with Clark's rule, okay? From that point on, we are going to multiply that times the adult dose. And what is the adult dose? If you said 500 milligrams, then you are absolutely correct. Times 500 milligrams, okay? All right, so we are trying to get the child's dose. If you will divide and multiply, okay? I wanna see if you're gonna get the same answer that I'm going to get. So 75 divided by uh, 150 times 500. I'm gonna give you just a moment to answer that and I'm gonna double check my answer as well. All right, if you came up with 250 milligrams, then you are absolutely correct. Are you getting this down? It's just, it's just a part of memorizing the formula. That, that's really it. That's really it. So make sure you check out Fried's rule. I'm also gonna put that in the cue card so that way you can check out that video, okay? And I think I've already, I may have already put it in there, but we'll see, okay? Let's go on to problem number three. I think you're getting this. I think you are really getting this. So let's move on. Okay, this is problem number three, so we'll have two more problems to work after this one. Still using Clark's rules, still using the same formula, okay? All right, so again, uh, Clark's rules, the child's weight divided by 150 times the adult dose. So the child this time weighs 45 pounds, 45 pounds. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's our next step? Divide by 150, is that what, if that's what you said, that is absolutely correct. All right, so a child weighing 45 pounds is prescribed Omnicept. The normal adult dose is 600 milligrams. What is the appropriate dose for the child? So the child weighs 45 pounds. According to the formula, we're gonna divide that by 150 according to Clark's rule. Times the adult dose. What is the adult dose, everyone? 600 milligrams. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so I need you to divide and multiply and tell me what you come up with. I'm also going to divide and multiply myself. So 45 divided by 150 times 600. That is going to give you 180 milligrams. And I'm going to double check myself. That's 45 divided by 150 times 600. That is 180 milligrams. If that's what you came up with in your calculator, then you got this. All right, let's move on to number four. Okay, you guys, we are on number four. We have one more problem, okay? All right, still using Clark's rule and still using the same formula. This problem says a child weighing 84 pounds is prescribed ampicillin. The normal adult dose is 500 milligrams. What is the appropriate dose for the child? So I'm gonna give you a moment to look at that. I'm gonna to talk to you about something. If you have been debating about yourself on whether or not you wanna become a pharmacy technician, 
Don't debate, you guys. There are several jobs that you can do as a pharmacy technician. I've already discussed a lot of these with you. You can become a sterile IV pharmacy technician, a compounding pharmacy technician, and also a chemotherapy pharmacy technician. And there's also another one out there called a nuclear medicine pharmacy technician. There's a lot of things that you can do with your certification. So if you are interested in becoming a certified pharmacy technician, Go to my page, link. I'm going to leave it in the comments. I'll also leave it in the description. And I'll also leave a 5% discount code for you. So if you're interested in that, I, I suggest that you do that because you can get certified in 60 days. That means you can have a job being a pharmacy technician in 60 days, but you also have to apply for the job. You know, don't ever think that jobs are going to come to you. You have to apply, you guys. Okay, let's get right into this problem. A child weighing 84 pounds is prescribed ampicillin. The normal adult dose is 500 milligrams. What is the appropriate dose for the child? Okay, first things first, we need the child's weight. And so far, the child weighs 84 pounds. So I'm just gonna put 84. Uh, the pres the, the, that child is prescribed ampicillin, but what we need to do before we go any further, we need to finish with this portion here because that is part of the formula. So we are going to divide that by 150. And now, what is the adult dose? The adult dose is, see right here, the normal adult dose is 500 milligrams. So we're gonna multiply that times 500 milligrams. I'm just gonna put 500. Now you need to put that in your calculator, 84 divided by 150 times 500. And what did you come up with? Because I came up with, as the child's dose, as 280 milligrams. Now I wanna double check myself, so I'm gonna put that in my calculator one more time. 84 times 500 is 280 milligrams. There it is right here, okay? All right, let's move on to the last one. We're almost done. If you've been getting this correct, then you are doing great. But if you have this question and you don't have this, you're not going to get far at all on that answer. Not far at all, okay? All right, so let's move on to the last one. Okay, still on Clark's rule. This is our very last one, okay? So if you have not gotten this by, the, by, the fifth, by this fifth one, Make sure you rewind this and watch it again before you go take your PTCB exam. Watch this over and over and practice with these problems. Even if you have to write this down on a sheet of paper and practice this, that's absolutely fine. But you have, you have this video to come back to and watch it, okay, and study, okay? All right, so now, Clark's rule. Child's weight divided by 150 times the adult dose we are trying to get the child's dose, okay? So this problem says, a child weighing 98 pounds is prescribed acetaminophen. The normal adult dose is 325 milligrams. What is the appropriate dose for the child? We're gonna work this out the same exact way as we've worked the previous four, okay? So now, let's take the child's weight, which is 98 pounds, we're going to divide that by 150 because that is part of the formula as far as Clark's rule. So we're gonna divide that by 150. What's our next step? Correct. We're going to multiply that times the adult dose, which is 325 milligrams. That's absolutely correct. All right, so I need you to do that in your calculator. Put your numerator in there first. 98 divided by 150. Oh wait, I put 10. 98 divided by 150 times, times, go right into that multiplication key, okay? So let me do that one more time. 98 divided by 150 times 325. I keep putting in um, 300 for some reason. So 98 divided by 150 times 325, that gives me 212, 212, I always like to put X because I always like to solve for X, equals 212.3, milligrams okay and always know your unit always know what you're working for okay because this could have been milliliters and I don't want you to get tripped up because the problem may say 212 milliliters milligrams grams uh, kilograms I need you to know what unit you're working for okay and I want to put that in my calculator one more time because I was put punching a, a lot of buttons in here just a few minutes ago 
Okay, yes, that is correct. 212.33 milligrams. Okay, wonderful people. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please share my video to anyone that you feel needs help with this. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.